We now answer the fourth question. That's this one right here. And I'll start by writing the first few terms that were given at the top of the page. So those are 1, 14, 65, 178, and 377, and so on. And again, we need to find the formula for the nth term of this sequence. So we start by looking into the differences as we go from left to right between these terms. From 1 to 14, we're adding 13. From 14 to 65, we're adding 51. From 65 to 178, we're adding 113. And from 178 to 375, we're adding 199. Now we can see here that the differences between these terms are never the same, they're always changing. So we look into the second differences. Those are, from 13 to 51 we have 38, from 51 to 113 we're adding 62, and from 113 to 199 we're adding 86. We can see here that the second differences are changing as well. So we go one step further and look into the third differences. From 38 to 62, we're adding 24. And from 62 to 86, we're adding 24 again. So we can see that the third difference is constant. And this is therefore a cubic sequence. Because it's a cubic sequence, its formula must be un equals to a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d. And our job now is to find each of the four coefficients a, b, c, and d. And to do that, we use the four equations for cubic sequences, which I show right now. Here they are. So, the first of the four equations, the one at the top, is 6a equals to the third difference. So, in our case, the third difference is 24. So, we can go ahead and write our first equation, which is 6a equals to 24. The second equation is 12a plus 2b equals to the first second difference. Now the first second difference is the first second difference we have on the second difference row. So that would be 38. So we can go ahead and say 12a plus 2b equals to 38. We now look at the third equation, which is 7a plus 3b plus c equals to the difference between the first two terms. Well, the difference between the first two terms here is this value, that's 13. So our equation would be 7a plus 3b plus c equals to 13. And finally, the fourth equation is a plus b plus c plus d equals to the first term. So in this sequence, we can see that the first term is 1. So our fourth equation will be a plus b plus c plus d equals to 1. We now have the four equations we need to find this sequence's formula. And we start with the top one and work our way down, meaning we start with 6a equals to 24, and we work through them from top to bottom. So let's go ahead. The first is 6a equals to 24, and so dividing both sides by 6 leads to a equals to 24 over 6. That's a is equal to 4. Now that we have a, we move on to the second equation, which was 12a plus 2b equals to 38. But since a is equal to 4, this turns into 12 times 4 plus 2b equals to 38. And 12 times 4 is 48, so that's 48 plus 2b equals to 38. 
We now subtract 48 from each side of this equation. That leads to 2b equals to 38 minus 48. That's 2b equals to negative 10. And finally, dividing both sides by 2, we find b equals to negative 10 over 2. That's b is equal to negative 5. Now that we have b, we move on to the third equation, which was 7a plus 3b plus c equals to 13. But we know a is 4 and we know b is negative 5, so this turns into 7 times 4 plus 3 times negative 5 plus c equals to 13. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 3 times negative 5, that's negative 15, plus c equals to 13. And I'll just tidy that up a bit. That's negative 15. Okay, now 28 plus negative 15 is 28 minus 15, plus c equals to 13. And 28 minus 13, well, that's 13. So we have 13 plus c equals to 13. And subtracting 13 from each side, we find c equals to 13 minus 13. That's c equals to 0. Now that we have c, we move on to the fourth and final equation. That was a plus b plus c plus d equals to the first term, which was 1. But we know that a is 4, b is negative 5, and c is 0. So this becomes 4 minus 5 plus 0 plus d equals to 1. And 4 minus 5 is negative 1, plus 0 is still negative 1. So this is negative 1 plus d equals to 1. Finally, we add 1 to each side of this equation, which leads to d equals to 1 plus 1, which is 2. We now have all four coefficients, and we can state this sequence's formula. That would be un equals to 4 n cubed minus 5 n squared plus 0 times n, which we don't bother writing, plus 2. And that's this sequence's formula for the nth term.